see what I'm seeing. I'm still in Swindon. I'm normally out of Swindon by 8 o'clock. It's now 17 minutes past 9. The 419, which is the main route from the uh, M5 down to the M4, is shut. So normally it's a little jaunt from where I work. Um, down to Junction 15, straight on to London. But I've had to go north and then back down through Flaming Swindon and we're trying to make our way through. But this is what happens when one of the major arteries of Swindon gets blocked, this is what happens. Swindon's now too many people, too much traffic. It's on the main route of everywhere. It's like the art of Flaming England, really. A lot of work comes in and out of here. A lot of traffic comes in and out of here. And it's getting a bit silly now. They're still building. People are still coming here. Uh, it's just... I mean, I live on the outskirts. I mean, obviously, uh, I, I don't live right in town. It's nice where I live. I like where I live. But yeah, this can, this becomes a problem when this happens. Flaming awful. So I've now been in traffic now. An hour and 18 minutes, still in Swindon. <laughs> Mental. So I'm going to Croydon, which is uh, oh, yeah, two hours away, I suppose. But it's uh, putting an extra, it's already putting an extra hour on the Fleming journey. So uh, yeah, from here it's saying two hours, 16 minutes. That's my sat now. Trying to get me out of Swindon. So I'm going back down to Junction 16 to go east so that's already right out of my way but never mind never mind oh all in a day's work but this is what happens when you're a lorry driver <laughs> and all that nine to five stuff you just go there do your work come home we go to work we come home when the job's done but uh, these days Hopefully it doesn't involve with me a night out because I just don't do nights out anymore. Been there, done that, got a t-shirt years ago. Health problems, one thing and another. I uh, I just don't do it. Some people still doing it after years. They seem to like to spend the time in the truck. Not at home. I'd rather be at home. With my dogs and my family. But there you go. Anyway. Enough of my widget. So, uh, yeah, basically where I am now, it's not far from where I live. Just literally this roundabout coming up here, turn right, and I live just up there. A bit daft, really. I could have got the missus to come out and uh, bring me a cup of coffee out there. Look at that. That'd be all right. Still on the end of the, end of the road here. <laughs> that would have been funny. But, yeah, never mind. Never mind get there in a minute. Yeah, now I'm off to Somerset for a funeral next Wednesday, so I've now got Wednesday, Thursday and Friday next week off. So we'll do the funeral, take me down to the funeral and uh, see some old friends down there and then stay the rest of the week and the weekend with my dad, spend some time with my dad. He don't see many people now. I don't see him very often either, to be quite honest. It'd be nice just me and my dad spend some time together. You only get one dad. <laughs> so I've got to look after him now, look. Poor old chap. <laughs> after 900 yeah. feet, cross the roundabout. Yeah, I know. Take the second exit. Yes. Shut up. Great Western Way. You just turn you down for two minutes, because you're going to get on my nerves. Turn you down a bit, so I'm still here. Just like, there, turned you down. There. Two, two signs, that's it. That's mine. This is the one I'm supposed to follow from work. It's also got cameras built into that, basically. So when I indicate left or right, cameras to come on to show me what's at the side of my vehicle. <coughs> it's a law now in London, you've got to have them. Also got a, a turning left beeper that you turn on and off here. Um, I hate to say it, but I do turn it off some of the time because uh, when I'm not in London, as it gets on with flaming wick, but it's supposed to stay on all the time. Shh, 
Don't tell anyone I turn it off. <laughs> but yeah. But this is better than it was when I first started with these, this one here. The old, uh, it also, it also knows how hard you brake, what fuel consumption you're using, how you're driving, when you're farting, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, it sort of analyzes your driving, lets them know. They also, I think it's used, whether it's facts they're tracking, but they know where we are at all times. Most of these big companies do now keep uh, track of their vehicles. But yeah, uh, look at this, we ain't gone very far. We still ain't gone very far. Hopefully, we get down the end of this one. This is just traffic coming across here, and I can get across this flaming roundabout, and it'll open up for a bit. Hopefully, maybe get down to the motorways. It's only saying one. What's it saying now? One minute ten. So it might be all right in a minute. Yeah, it might be alright. Anyway, I'll we'll catch you in a bit. Hopefully catch up with you when we're a bit further down the road.
like like living up here. I want working then. <laughs> it's back when you can move around on the dial with just sign on the dotted line uh, every couple of weeks. I would say I was lazy, but I was younger then. Uh, wasn't really need of so much money then. Um, never had the bikes, never had the vans. Didn't even have a car back then until. Quite weird actually, when we moved up here, I, I mean it was back when uh, people still had, we used the CVs quite a bit, they still had, the, the phones still had been, uh, mobile phone still had been invented, so people were still, like the lorry drivers were still using the CV, so I set uh, one up at home, big home, big, big ham home, they call it, home base set up. Be able to get all over the world on that, that great big flaming area like the back though. But as normal, used to pick up uh, people, Italians, and sometimes Americans, Australians on the skip. But I say you'd work by the skip. Used to enjoy it, but got friendly with a, a chap down the road. Uh, and he gave me a car, an old Pooch Maxi, which was uh, <laughs> never had one of them before. Let's just go back to one. But yeah, I managed to get myself a job working on uh, Brighton Bypass at the time, doing the muck shift, driving, driving the um, dumper trucks, the old big Volvo dumper trucks, waiting for it on the HGV. And uh, I was travelling backwards and forwards, like I'd stayed in a, in a caravan down there for the week, and then come back for the weekend, and then go early on Monday morning, or sometimes Sunday night. Back down there to be ready for Monday, early Monday start. But yeah, one morning, <laughs> I remember my missus, not saying, not saying she's no witch, but she said to me, I wish that flaming car would burst into flames and you wouldn't have to go down there. Because I'm younger than me, I've been married long, you know. The, uh, the marriage was new, if you know where I'm going with that. So she didn't want me to get up and go. Anyway, I got up, got in the got in the uh, the pooch maxi, drove to the end of the road, which was um, in Wokenham, just by the school as you come into Wokenham, what was known as the London Road, the main road in the Wokenham. There's a set of traffic lights. I stopped at the flaming traffic lights, and I thought, God, what's that smell? I, just, I can smell peril. Then with that, holy crap! Bang! The bloody car exploded almost. Flames came through the dash, took me flipping eyebrows out, me flaming beard was all singed. So I got to the dive deck the car, and as I got out the car, the flaming, well, I don't know what was going on, but obviously the wiring, the electric wiring was, was um, burning itself, and even though I turned the car off, it was, it was like, well, yeah, screws the uh, pump, pump, but it was, it was hot wearing itself, turning itself back on, but it was in gear. I actually jumped out quick, turned it off, left in gear, so it was, it was turning the flaming, turning the engine over, and the thing was moving its way out to the front of the, into the traffic that was coming down the main London Road. Really quite frightening. So I had to get back in, even though it was all on, on fire, I mean, not so much the, you know, the inside the car, but everything else was, it was just the puff when it, it came in to start with, but it was mainly just the engine that was all right there that was burning. So I managed to knock it back out of gear, blow, gave me a great big stick and I knocked it out, and ran down, it was only going, uh, 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 you know, out to the, but I managed to get it out of, out of gear, and then got to the back of my car and got my tools out and my gear to go down to Brighton. Managed to get that out. Walked back down the road. I, I rang the uh, fire brigade, but not thinking. I just took all my gear, because I was literally round the corner. Took my gear back down to the house and told the missus that it was on fire. But when I came back, fire brigade were there and the police asked him whose car it was, he said, what, and he says, you've left the scene of an accident, so he was trying to do me for uh, wandering off, I said, well, I was in shock, mate, I just thought I'd better 
tell the missus what was going on. But yeah, anyway. So no, I didn't go to work that day. So uh, I can't really remember. I had to get a lift day, I think, after that. I can't really remember. It was so long ago. But uh, yeah, that were yeah, that was wor working from here. But uh, things like that, mate. Things like that. Craziness. Anyway, that's enough of that rubbish. Anyway, this is uh, where we're going now. Going into Croydon in a minute. Let me get through through here. It's looking all right. The traffic's moving quite now. It's not. It's not. It's, uh, what time is it now? Oh, it's 25 past 10 now. So we got over the rush hour. Not too bad. Hopefully we've missed everything now. Well, this is all changed since I were uh, living in all this road down here. All all that over there, what they give you a truck stop over there. Yeah, one of the buildings weren't there. That's, that road weren't there. Crazy. That was all changed. Mind you, that was, we moved up here. Uh, uh, God, what was we moved up here? 1990? 1990? Yeah, 1990 we moved here until about 94. So we weren't up here long. It seemed a long time. But yeah, met some good people up there. Met the uh, Brackle Chopper Club. They were some good lads. Used to have a clubhouse thing there on the uh, Nine Mile Road years ago. Used to belong to uh, a chap called Biff. He's gone. I think he went to cancer. I think his, uh, his ex missus still. His ex missus. Well, his missus still leaves there. Uh, lives, lives, lives there. Haven't seen her for years. We're fighting each other again since um, having Facebook and that, so we're talking again. Must get out there. Must get out there. And see them all. And Brillo. Gosh, there's so many have gone now. Those days, they were great. It's nice that when they put up the uh, pictures, the old pictures of how it was. How it used to be. They're all grey. All old looking. They all had long hair back then. Then so did I. <laughs> oh God. All grey. How the years do uh, go on. Seems like yesterday really. Mental. I do miss it. It's crazy for November. We've been having some warm weather. Just don't like getting me bike out this time of the year. Difficult for me because where the uh, where my bike is is around the back of my house. It's in a little tiny lane, slippery, it's green, all the being under the trees, it's really slippery, and that bike of mine is so heavy. They're all nice and neat. What's that going on? I keep getting a. Hang on, where's he going? I'm trying to come round me, see? Bloody said man. Oh, well, whatever, it's three and a half ten, I'm trying to come round me. Don't give you enough room. You tell you don't drive lorries. Flaming bad drivers. Yeah, I lost me. What I was talking about? Eh? Try to concentrate. Yeah, I keep getting the thing up on the dash saying contacts. Contact works. Just set to set to with the gas on it. It goes off again. Don't worry about it. Yellow. It's not red. It's not telling me to stop. Watching it here, and they might get another one come out in a minute because we just have a just have fire engine come out. We get on there, give plenty of room just in case. Um, he's got another one, red lights are flashing in there. Perhaps he is coming out. Fire somewhere or an accident on the motorway. videos yesterday and he was talking about his eye and problems with his eye and the uh, doctor thinks that he's got some kind of floppy eye syndrome 
So I had a message him, it's exactly what I'm going through, my right eye, I've been having problems with, but it's it's not like, I think Luke's got uh, eyelashes on, eyelashes going in his eye or something. I have got, I don't think I've got that, it just, I've got, um, I don't know, it's almost like jelly floating around in me, in me eye, even though I'm not touching them. The eye doctor can't see it, that's what it feel like, and it just, that's getting on my nerves, mate. That um, just makes me flipping, just annoying. It's really annoying. I got they give me drops for now, and I'll come back in six months. But the old floppy eye is definitely closing up a little bit. So I, one doctor said, "Yeah, we'll give you a nip and tuck." No, you must have gone to the same doctor. And then I went to another one, a female doctor in, in Sweden. She went, "No, you don't need that. Don't need that yet. Not at this point. No, you don't need that." So you never know where you're at. What are you doing? You know, it's been a year and a half, two years then. It just seems to get worse. Oh, they don't lose me flaming eyes so I can bother. Yeah, anyway. We're nearly right down. End of bracket, I'll come out the other side. So I might cut it here. Hang on. Let's have a look. That is peeking at me. I don't know why that's doing that. So as long as we don't break down. Take the exit, 822, Maxwell Road. Yeah, the roads are a bit slippery this morning. I want you to wait on the back end and nothing over me flaming front axle, uh, rear axles of the, the unit. Don't help, the way they'd have loaded. They'd rather have a bit more weight over the axles. More grip then. Oh, that's bright. That's bright. Son of me, eyes now. <laughs> 